Are you a parent or a caregiver who notices that your child experiences a lot of frustration due to the fact that he or she cannot communicate or may not have communication options? While learning how to communicate does promote independence, better behavior, but also helps to reduce that frustration that he or she may experience due to a lack of communication skills. Hi, I'm Dr. Luann Sailors, and I help families to be able to improve their communication so that way their child is less frustrated and can also become more independent. I'm the founder and instructor of Sign Tribe, and my passion is helping families to be able to improve their communication while also helping children to reduce their frustration from a lack of communication skills. So be sure to keep watching this video and check out Sign Tribe and join our community to learn more. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to teach sign language to children. Now, you may have experienced trying to teach sign language before, but have given up because it just takes a lot of time. When it comes to teaching sign language to your child, there are several different strategies that you can try. So one of the tips that I always give parents is to choose the signs that you find the most functional or the signs that you tend to use most often with your child, whether it's in the home or school or community setting. Now, deciding on which signs to choose will be one of your first tasks. Now, once you decide what sign you would like to start teaching first, you'll want to begin by integrating that sign into your communication on a very regular basis. So for example, if you want to learn how to sign the word eat and you want your child to be able to communicate that back to you, eat, you can use eat and the sign every time that you speak the word. That way your child will start to associate the sign for eat with the word eat that he or she may hear. Now, another thing that you can do is that your child might already have some type of a picture communication system or a communication board, anything like that. So what you can also do is take the picture or an object and show them the sign, say the word, and also show the sign for the word. So for example, you might have a small picture of somebody eating and that picture might be a symbol to him or her that it is time to eat. You would show them the picture, whether it's on their picture schedule or a timeline or something like that, point to the picture, say eat, and also show the sign at the same time. Whenever your child decides to sign eat back to you, you wanna make sure that you do give them verbal praise and even maybe a reward for that behavior. And what we're looking for is for your child to be able to communicate back to you independently and that we make sure we want to reward. Thank you.